All right, we've got a majority of our main skeleton tacked together. And now it's time to start on the cab over. I'm just gonna come out, come down, and then back to here. We're using our CNC plasma table to cut out some pieces to make the nose cone. Well, the good news is I got all those angled cuts cut correctly and the nose is starting to take shape. The bad news is I cut one of them the wrong length. Angles are right, length is wrong. This one here, luckily it's one inch too long and all I'm gonna have to do is cut it off one inch. These parts here are temporary to hold this thing together. And then next up we have to make kind of a curved nose cone that's gonna go here to finish the front off. This will become the front, this is the bottom, and this is the top. Wrap it so that that front piece will end up wrapped around in a curve like that. So Courtney is supposed to be resting after her eye surgery, but I just caught her in the act. Busted. What are you doing, Courtney? I'm um, flying vinyl with mediocre vision. <laughs> Blind truck wrap. She's got one door done already and she's starting on the second door. Got my safety sunglasses on and I'm referring to my illegible notes. When there's vacation runners in the main house, we have to get creative with where we do our work. It's windy and looking like rain, so I cleared some space out in my storage shed and I'm trying to work in here out of the wind. Welcome back to my shed. Got the top part tacked together. Now I'm working on the bottom. I'm gonna lean it against the wall, and then when I push down right here, it folds it down and I just keep tacking and tacking and tacking as I go and try to keep everything in the right spot. So here's the nose cone all finished up. A lot of grinding and sanding, but they just turned out pretty good. A few little pinholes and divots. Before we can put the nose cone on, put this corner gusset in. is having a miserable time welding this. And I look at these welds and they're terrible too. What the heck is going on? The plastic protective film is still on the aluminum. Caught me a little bit. Got the nose cone clamped up and ready to be welded in. Bailey came to help me do some welding. Riley's pretty excited. What did we just do? We just put the camper up on the truck for the first time and get to see what it looks like in real life, not computer life. Hi 
I got a quote for having the truck and the camper professionally vinyl wrapped and the price was $6,500. So it ended up being $1,200 in material. It's very time consuming. It's hard. It's not perfect, but I think it's coming out pretty good. Before I can wrap the truck, I have to take all of these badges off, which might be the worst thing ever. It's The badges come off easy, but then there's like a rubber adhesive automotive tape underneath. It is very tedious to remove. Close to finishing the train. How's it going? Good. I'm trying to do some of the upside down welding while we have it on the truck, and then we'll pull it back off the truck and keep doing more welding. And more welding, and more welding. Well, it's dark. But Riley is in the zone. Can you even see him up there? We're building a roof rack. Building a roof There's rack? There's no way the GoPro can see no, me. No, you can't see him. You take my word for it. Making good progress. Truck is officially wrapped. We need to move the body down here because we have renters that it's fully welded. I think our next step is going to be painting it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and follow along as we build our ultimate adventure vehicle.